Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today, we're going to look at some items that I sold through the Make an Offer to a Watchers option. Everything I'm going to show you today was sold through those options. I literally sent an offer to every one of these people, and every one of these items sold within the next 24 hours from those offers. So let's hop over and look at those items right now. So here we go. Now, these are in no specific order at all. I'm going to give you the prices they sold for. There's another thing I have a question on a lot. It says $34 on this one. That was the list price. eBay does not show you the final value on a bin, a buy it now option. So this one sold for $25. It was up for six, seven months or so. I've just a dollar or so into it. It's a lovely Valentine's card. Just a very nice example of something like this. And as I said, these are all offers to watchers. This Christmas card sold for $55 from the St. John Globe Hotel. Interesting item, unique designs, something I hadn't seen before. So very happy with the price. It's been up for maybe six or seven months as well. Now here's a Courier and Ives lithograph on a trade card. This is a trade card for tobacco products, a cigar line. It is marked Courier and Ives on it as well as 1880. This one sold, I believe, for $84. Now, if you didn't know, I do have an Instagram page and I share items just like this on there on a routine basis, or I try to. I also have a Twitter page and we are on Facebook as a business page as well as a Facebook group. All of it's under the Auction Professor. We do have a Patreon page as well. So again, under the Auction Professor. Just a couple dollars into this item. Very nice one here. I really liked the artwork on it. The dog smoking the cigar. Anthropomorphic animals are just awesome and my book. Now this one here is from the 1893 Columbian Exposition, the Columbian World's Fair in Chicago in 1893. This one I took $150 for in the offer I sent out. Just fine with that as well. It's a nice card, just not worth a fortune. You always try to get as much as you can. I feel that was a very comfortable offer based on my marketing and pricing schemes for those who do follow along with that. Now here's a pair of cufflinks. Again, I sent the offer out 1850 and it sold for the offer. They're enameled 1940s or so. It's a gentleman on a penny farthing bicycle with a bowler or a derby hat on. Very interesting image here. Nice done pair of cufflinks. Now this one is a clipper ship luggage label from Hawaii. Clipper ship would have been able to land on the water if you did not know it. The China clipper is one of the perfect examples that most people have heard of. Nice example here. Not worth a fortune. I got a quarter into it. I sent an offer for twelve fifty, and it sold right out just like that. Now we've got over a thousand offers to watchers we can send out. We send out about a hundred a day. It increases our sales by that day about say three hundred or better, give or take a few bucks. And that's every single day we've done these. So we've been staggering them out this way so we're not flooding ourselves. Now these are Christmas gift tags that would have hung on a Christmas present back in the 1890s, 1900s range. I sent an offer for 19.99, and boom, they sold at 19.99. Nice example. I have pennies into these. This is from an estate sale. Just a whole bunch of paper that I shoved into a box at the end of the day from the attic and I got a lump sum price on them. I have literally pennies into these sorts of things. Now here's a Kings Island Amusement Park Enchanted Voyage. This is from Cincinnati. I've been to Kings Island a few times when I was younger. I don't even really know if it's still open. I don't travel that way very often. But this specific postcard literally goes for 20 to say 45 or 50 bucks at any given day of the week. I sold this one for $28.50. It's been up for a little while. I'm happy with that. Very interesting and a unique attraction that was pretty much only there for a little length of time so this one's sought after i sold a couple from king's island all um offers to watchers same basic principle on these i'm just showing you a few of the ones that we sent out we sold a ton of offers to watchers items this week now here's a native american um real photo real picture postcard of a soldier with a gun his name is written on the back and i think it's lightfoot is his last name i sold it for 27.50 it's about average for something like this now he's got a gun in his hand he's got the full belt the whole works uh, maybe it's a springfield m1 grand or something along that line nice example here this is a dollar or less purchase for me i, I never spend more than a dollar or so on most cards it could have been as low as 10 cents i'd have to dig into this one 
Now here's a hand-drawn card. Now again, if you're on my Instagram page, you would have seen this one already. I took 90 on this. Somebody hand drew this out to someone very specific. If you look at it at an angle, it says a Happy New Year 1878. If you look at it on a side view, it has the name of the gentleman who did the work, A.C. Johnson. It's an optical illusion that's only able to be read, for the most part, looking at it on an angle. Uh, just a unique card. I have a couple of these, and I've had many in the past. These do show up. Most people don't know what they are. This was a quarter or something purchase-wise out of a paper bin. No one even knew what it was, would be my honest guess. Yes. Now here's the last of my tanks. I sold the last two for 30 bucks a piece, $60 to the same person. I think this is the lowest I took on any of these Mark's tanks. I spent a couple bucks, two or three bucks on a huge bag of figures and vehicles just like this from a Goodwill store quite some time ago. Now I sold some items from this lot immediately when it first went up. So I already had my money back and made a good profit, all profit here. So nice example of these. Now, this next one here is the Chisholm's. It's a CBS TV promo 8x10 photo, and I took 25 bucks on it. I've sold some other ones from this lot as well. I sold a few to the actual people that were in the photos. So uh, you do run into stuff like that. Delta Burke was one of the folks that bought for me from this exact same TV show. She was in it back in the day. Nice example here, 25 bucks, as I said. Now, this next one is Collins and Harlan. It's a Jazz 78 on a Victor Batwing. It's called Batwing because the top of the label looks like a bat wing, hence the name. I sent out an offer for $34.50, and they took it just like that. So it's off in the mail as it goes. Now, this next one here is a transatlantic cruise ship from 1930, the SS Columbus. This is a menu from the ship with all kinds of interesting information on it. I took 25 on this one. Again, I've got nothing into this. This was bought in a big lot of stuff. I have others from this exact same ship as well. So big profit margin on these sorts of items. I can't go wrong selling it for 25 bucks. And as I've been saying, these are all offers to watchers. Every single one of these. Yeah, this is a dollar item. So I'm making 20 plus bucks on that. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's been up for seven, eight months. I just sell this sort of thing all the time. Offers to watchers, as I said, can really boost your sales. It does work. Got to have some good items, though. You've got to put some good thought into the offer that you're putting out there. So, and again, these are just a few of the examples. We sold a ton, and I do mean a ton, of items to watchers. So just a perfect way to move some more product at the end of the year right now. Now's the time to send these out. As I've been saying, it's hot right now. People are still buying through this month. Don't let it slack off. Keep sending those offers out. Next one here is a 1913 sheet music, the Melody or Hesitation Waltz. I took $22.50 on this. I knocked five bucks off and it sold. So very happy with that sale price on this. Maxwell Goldman is pretty much why this one sold because it was arranged by him. He's a well-known composer arranger. So nice example of a piece of early sheet music. I have nothing into this. This was a freebie to me. So anyway, that's what I have for you. And as I said, I always, always use the offers to watchers. I may not send out a ton at the same time and just stagger them off, but it always works and it does increase my sale every single time I do that. So anyway, that's what I have for you. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.